I like extending through my middle fingers. So whether you're seated or standing, see if you can have your feet and knees two fists apart, extend your arms, consider turning the palms forward. If you were seated, consider that I could be moved forward on the chair so that my hips are actually higher than my knees. I'll turn sideways to show that. See how there's a downward slope here. Just as if you were standing, there's a downward slope here. So I'll stay seated sideways. Now you may maneuver your body here because the cushion, if you have one, may not feel even on your bump. So notice how that you're sitting on the saddle here, or if you're standing, I like to be extended through the arms. And then consider just lifting this part of the body, the diaphragm, the rib cage, when I inhale. Good. And you try it too. And I'm turning my palms forward as I'm inhaling so that I can receive what's coming in and then relax. I'll show you what I mean standing. I'm rotating my shoulders open and I'm drawing my shoulder blades down and back so that this part of my body can lift and open. Good. And what we're doing here is starting to activate the deep area just gently. Good. Breathing through the nose if possible so you can avoid drawing your mouth out hyperventilating, things like that. Not that those are desired, those are to be avoided. So consider this just a few more times, and then we're gonna notice this upper area by the shoulders. Between the neck and the shoulder, an area of great tension, especially if one's curled, I'll turn sideways, if you're curled forward, this gets really contracted. So we're looking to open this up here, and I've had neck surgeries, so I live in this world of tension up there. And I'm looking to draw this down, just as if I'm drawing this down. This draws down, this draws down. And then my tush goes back. So I'm drawing down, drawing down as I lift up. Good. If you were standing, I'm drawing this part down through my fingers, not really raising my chin, I'm almost tucking it and looking level. Mm, and I feel the stretch in the back of my neck. So let's try that just a couple more times drawing this part of the shoulder down, tucking the chin just a little bit and looking forward. Good. So we're getting to be a full body breath here, centered on the diaphragm. So on the inhale, the diaphragm comes up, the shoulder blades come down, and exhale, you can just relax it. A couple more. I have fluid built up from my arthritis, and there's actually an area up here near your heart where extra fluid drains from your lymph system. And there's another functional reason here to try to open the valve that may be closed. Just a thought. All right, I'm turning sideways. You could be standing, shake it around a little bit, move your hips, because that's what's next. I'll demonstrate seated first. We're going to stir the pot here. And it happens with the belly coming up and forward on the inhale and back towards the spine on the exhale. Standing, I'll get my stabilization here. I'll bring my belly up and forward on the inhale, back on the exhale. It can be very subtle. How many, how many times have you actually thought about moving your belly? Just this area. However, the belly and your diaphragm are very close to each other. And if you're sort of laying here, 
your belly can lay on your diaphragm and you may not breathe so well. So notice I'm going one direction and I'm trying to maneuver my belly without throwing my hips around. Good. Notice which direction you're going as you're breathing because we're going to turn the other way. Turn and turn. Good. So see, I'm trying to bring this up and bring it back. Good. I'll show seated. Diagonal is helpful. Hips up. Avoid tipping your head. We'll just churn in the belly. Good. Each group, whether you're seated or standing, standing, standing. Good. Finish and rest. So we're warming this area up to have greater stabilization too. When you can bring your belly to your spine, it could stabilize your posture. Just another thought. All right, and I'm turning forward. You turn forward too if you can. Make sure you can sit up. Now with the belly coming forward, there's some down and back action with the tailbone. Good. So when this is coming up, I'm really pushing my tush down into the chair. By sitting up forward, you're on the chair, I'm not collapsing there. So there's an arch in my back now. Good. We're avoiding this collapse. We're coming up to the arch. Standing. I'll turn sideways. Still hold something for stability. I'd like you to pull this up but I'd also like you to draw this down. And how we might accomplish that is putting a hand back here and see if you can draw your shoulder and your tailbone down. Good. Your tailbone down, shoulder down, belly up, exhale, release. Good. So we're seeing how it feels with one side. You might turn around and use your support Get the hand back here. My shoulder's tight here, so it's going to be differently than the other side. Good. See how I might have a different range of motion on this side. And that's okay. It is what it is, and it could change. We just don't want to make it worse. All right, so we have the tailbone going down, this ripple effect opening up. That could be plenty. We're trying to be in service of opening up the shoulder here and the heart. All right, take a little break. See if you need any water. Really encourage that. Dehydration is a big issue. I get cramps now. Started taking some magnesium after I cramped last week. So that's important, but it's important to have the right balance. All right, speaking of balance, come back to your Two-fisted spacing, whether you're seated or standing. Check the feet without tipping over. Good. So you're getting that awareness of your tail coming back and down when your belly comes up. So this is a stabilizing area. Good. So we're getting this ripple going. And then what I'd like you to think about is when the belly is coming up, you're going to press strongly on one leg and see if you can just raise the other and then lower. Notice how I was very petite in my leg. Similarly, when you're standing, hold your device. I like the palm forward. I'll use the pillow here so I can drop my shoulder down. So I'm using the chair back. I'm going to use the inside leg. I'm going to inhale. I'm just going to practice raising the foot just the petite without tipping to the side. Good. So I'm starting to activate my inner thigh and my bun on the standing leg. So that's very subtle. But there's breathing involved too, not just holding the breath. So I'm going to inhale and lift the foot off the floor and just finish my inhale. And then exhale, I'm going to go very slowly and lower the foot and finish the landing. If you're standing, come around to the other side. If you're seated, similarly, have your stabilization with your arms so you can just lift the opposite leg of what you've been lifting. Good. Standing, similarly, I'll just go to this side. 
just to scoot over. Open the heart, draw the tailbone down, inhale, lift the belly up, lift the belly up, good, that's the inhale, and then exhale, draw the belly back, draw the belly back, draw the belly back, land, finish, ease. Good, just a little petite activation, trying to get the bun and the inner thigh warmed up. Now how else can we warm this up? Notice I've moved my feet so that they're like a little angled teepee here. I'm just on the outside of the pinky areas, down to the heel. Now my knee's going out instead of centered. Good. So I'm going to stabilize with my arm, and I'm just going to close on the exhale. So inhale, I'm going to bring the belly up, and I'm going to push the tush back a little and open. And exhale, I'm going to come all the way to level feet and knees together. And exhale, pull the belly back and close. How do we do this standing? Well, I don't want you to be on the sides of your feet. Please. What we'll do is a little, what they call plie. We're going to just open out and see how the knees go out. The feet are angling out. And then on the exhale, I'm going to close the space. So I'm opening here on the inhale, consider your support, and exhale, close it. So I still have the, the spacing properly of my heels, though my feet are turned out a little bit. Good. So the knees and the feet are going in the same direction. Good, just a little squatting. But I'm asking you to emphasize your bellies a little more. That's a little atypical. <clears throat> Lift the belly and the inhale, squat down a little. Exhale, pull the belly up and stand up. So we're engaging the belly to help you stand up more. Let's take a break a little bit, shake out whatever your posturing is, similarly on the chair. See if you can get a beverage if you need it and see if you can have a back support, find another pillow if necessary. Good. All right, so we're open, we were opening over here, starting from a narrow base. What I'd like you to do, I'll turn sideways, is we're gonna have a straight base, and we're gonna lift like we did before, and just open the gate. Turn the gate and land. Da, da, uh, uh. So there's an inhale and a lift and an open. This leg is very strong. Exhale, belly back and lower. Good. I'll show standing. I'll get my position. This is like ballet number one, sort of. We'll call it yoga number one. I've got the lift here. I'm transferring the weight just a little bit. The foot comes off a hair. Exhale, oh, and I'm opening the gate. Exhale, bring it back, land, rest. Now this may seem rather simple, however the idea is to avoid tipping. The idea is to avoid collapsing the support. So there's many things to intentionally focus on, on the supporting side, while we're trying to open, close, land, rest. This is that last little part where you can finish the exhale. Opening the inhale, bring it back, finish the exhale, bring the belly up, belly up, belly up, belly up, belly up, land it, stick it, rest. Good. So if you're seated, swivel in the chair a little, and we'll go to this side. And there may be a difference, even at the seating position. So, find your stability, ready. You can inhale, lift, and open, exhale, belly up, belly up, belly up, belly up, belly up, lower, 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 finish, release. So that's a long breath cycle. Standing, support, activation of this leg, stable, but not overworking the shoulder. This is opening, so I'm inhaling, the belly is coming up, belly is coming up, belly is up, up, up. Exhale, belly is back, belly is back. Lowering this, finish the landing, transfer and rest. Continue, 
activating the standing leg closest to the chair without gripping excessively. See if you can come up, 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 up. Bring it back, 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 back. Finish the exhale, belly, belly, up, 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 up. Finish the landing and rest. Good. Let's try one more. If it's comfortable, strong standing leg. Inhale, up, 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 up. Open, 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 open. Exhale, belly up, belly up, belly up, belly up, belly up. Finish the exhale, land, release. Let it go. Good, shake it out. All right, we're starting to warm up because it's fun day. So that's part of it. We're opening the heart as well as the pelvic area. Did a little ripple, did a little hinging here. Now what about activating the belly a little more because it's part of our stabilization. I like the idea of thinking about tipping it windmill. Now when we're tipping, we're not collapsing, but we're going to be tipping just by this element of the waist area right below the ribs. I can touch this side and say, oh, okay, I know where that is. And I can barely touch on this side because of my shoulder issues. So just to even see if you can find your ribs on each side without strain. If not, come a little lower. Let's see if you can find your ribs. Similarly, if you're standing, may not be doing the chicken dance yet, but you may. So I notice here, can you sort of position the hands like you're scooping under your ribs and drop your shoulder blades? Wonderful. That's where we're hinging, right below the rib cage. So if you keep one hand here <coughs> and you keep the other hand in your stabilizer, you then turn the hand here and just let it drop. So the inhale will bring the belly up and exhale, think of pulling the belly in from the side. But notice I'm not dropping my head excessively. I'm really activating this bun. So this bun comes up and in while my body hinges, the bun stabilizes, and I rest. Very subtle, but we're working on this part of the body with a lot of stability. Similarly with the chair, I'm lifting, I'm engaging, I'm bringing up, and I'm keeping my arms against the chair arms, and I'm only coming just a hair. The point is activating here, not throwing my head over the side. Good. So this is the work over here to stabilize this area. One more. See if you can exhale, draw up from here. Mm, you can even have your hand there. Strong, strong leg. Strong, strong leg, strong, strong leg, good, and finish. Uh, it can be awkward, this is just the first time through. All right, what if you were standing and we want to go to the other side? Similarly on the chair, position your arms differently. I'm trying to hinge over here, but I'm going through a very strong leg. Inhale up, and I'm just tipping over just a hair. The point is to pull this up. Ooh, lift that, lift that, good. Finish the exhale, rest. Inhale, mm, we're opening this side, and then exhale, bringing it back. Good, a couple more. If it's not dramatic, I'm not asking you to touch, touch your toe, I'm just asking you to tip your waist a little. Good, so we're activating this area and this area. Have a seat a little bit, a little sip of something. Good. If you're seated, come back to uh, two-fisted spacing. Similarly for standing. Great. It's really important that your hips are higher than your knees for any kind of seated twist. And we're talking about a petite twist. You can see that we've come up. You can see we've hinged. So somewhere in the middle is the twist. So I'd like you to think of your navel, and when you bring your navel up, and you exhale, and you draw in from the side, you're just turning your navel to that side, and your trunk just comes along for the ride. Head two. There's nothing to see back there. Well, there might be, but I'm in front of you. Great. Similarly, when standing, come to your 
potential full open position. Lift the belly of the inhale. Try to keep your shoulders square and notice if this is coming out of true and just give a little bit of turn, maybe 30 or 45 degrees. I don't know, I have my own tension. So you say we're just hinging here, but if you're gripping the chair, this could lock. So you see I'm just referencing and I'm keeping this open as opposed to, uh, I'm avoiding collapsing. I'm thinking of a trunk turn with a little shoulder stabilization and a lot of bun. That's the point, the bun is engaged so I can turn my belly and pull it up here. Bun in, belly here. If you're on the other side and you're standing and you're open, bring the belly up, you're turning, avoid gripping with the trailing arm, activate the standing bun, 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 down here so the belly can come up from here. Good. Inhale, open. Exhale, belly, 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 release. Hopefully you didn't eat much before this class. I did not have a smoothie today on purpose. Good, bring that belly in, belly in, belly in, belly in. Good. Now you're getting some definition, I can tell already. I can see the lateral lines of your abdominal muscles. All right, so we've done a little turn. We've done a little tip, we've done a little extension, and some gyration. What else is there? I don't have to think about it for a moment. So in the meantime, come back to your neutral posture, see if you can bring the elbows into that waist area below your ribs. Good. Can you tuck the elbows in? You can't tickle yourself, so that's safe. If you can take it yourself, let us know. All right, similarly standing, I'm not trying to hyperextend my elbows, but just invite them to the waist area. Good. What I'd like us to consider, and I have my hands here, I think we'll give you another one, is that we're going to push the tush back a little and just make believe we're like at the front of a boat or that statue in the front, and the tush is pushing into the boat, the shoulder blades are drawing back, the belly is drawing up. Good. So we're gonna inhale up and bring the belly up. Exhale, mm, belly is curling, curling, curling. I'm not dropping my chin, I'm gazing forward at a fixed spot, avoiding over craning my neck, and just a little bit. So deep, deep, just a little bit. Similarly seated, see if you can say similarly seated three times fast. Just kidding, but try it. See if you can come here, come up on the inhale, the belly is up and forward, my arms are stabilizer, the shoulders are drawing back, and I'm just coming down to here, my head is above my heart still. Inhale, the shoulder blades draw down a little bit more, Exhale, the belly comes up, belly comes up. Now notice if you're gripping the floor with your toes, because I'm observing that if I'm doing that. And instead of gripping the floor, use your inner thighs. Good. See if you can use your inner thighs, and then, oh, it's bun day. See if you can use your buns a little bit more. I'll demonstrate standing. I'll even go sideways. I've got my spacing, I'm inhale, the belly is up. Exhale, the belly is coming up, but I'm not rounding my back. Good, yes. Inhale up, just in case the cypress puts on a show and you are ready to bow for the audience. Good, couple more. Belly up, belly up, it's curling up here, curling, curling, the belly's curling up. Good, then the inhale, the belly comes out and forward. Last one, and then when you finish that inhale coming up, just release, shake it out, see if you need to maneuver a little bit, have a sip of something, and be ready for more. You can sit or stand. Great. All right, so we got the belly going, 
Belly is ready to stabilize, and we've started to allude towards its fun day, and we're going to get towards that. What I'd like you to think about is how can you inhale and extend upward in a gentle way, and then just practice holding an engaged pair of buns left and right, and draw the belly up. Just focus on the buns. Good. Well, not just, but primarily. And then release them. So you can see there's some up and down action potential while seated, but it helps to have the hips higher than the knees. Similarly, standing, what I'd like you to think of is, let's just squat a little bit on the inhale. So the knees are bending, but I'm still upright. And exhale, draw the buns in, and open the backs of the knees a little bit. Good. Finish the exhale, holding the buns. Great. Inhale, little inner thighs. Avoid gripping, coming down, belly up. Exhale, belly back, buns engaged. Keep the belly drawing back, keep the buns engaged. Finish and release. Now you're going at your own pace, but there's a breath part to each part. The inhale, the belly is up. The exhale, we're coming into the pose. This is drawing. Good. One more. Bring the belly up. Belly up, belly up, belly up. And then release it. Good. At your own capacity and strength. All right, gonna sit for a moment. Shake it out. What else can we do in bun land? All right. Turn in a slight diagonal, sit up, let the shoulders down, soften this area if you can. Find your stabilizing areas. I've got a chair arm in my hip. Good. Now this inner thigh over here, this is the working girl, right here. And then this is the lifts. This is what you're showing, but this is what is a great amount of work. So the more that your standing leg is activated, the easier it'll be to lift the knee. Without tipping, we're trying to lift the belly, good, and lift the knee, and then exhale, slowly lower it, and release. Inhale, knee up, belly up. Exhale, bring it down slowly. Good. Just little bits, you can just raise the heel, you can just manage whatever seems right. Back here. Coming to my open position, very strong bun over here. Inhale, the belly's coming up, the knee is coming up. Whatever seems safe for you, you can just raise the foot of hair off the floor, just the heel, whatever feels right. Good, now as this is coming down, my bun is engaged on the standing leg, my belly comes up. Good, here it's coming up and forward, and then I'm bringing it back to the spine as I exhale and land. Now you might do the opposite of your breathing and that's okay too, because you're breathing and that's important. I'm really act actually very happy about how much bun you might be activating. Now this might seem mundane for now, but your bun might get tired and take a break. Good. Shake it out. And then it's time for the other side. Great. Shake out. This it's different left and right. Find your stability. Activate the bun. Bring the belly up. Bring the knee up. Good. Bring the belly back. Bring the foot back. Land finish. The finish is important because as you empty the air, you make room for fresh air. All right, we're on this side. Good. Slowly lowering, dropping the shoulders, chest up and forward. Belly up and back on the exhale. Good. Couple more. Strong thigh and bun on this stabilizing leg. Good. Shake it out. All right. Now I've got a little of this warmed up, and just to make it a little more brain work, we're going to move some opposites. So I'd like you to consider cinching your elbows gently to your ribs, down to that bottom area. Uh, good. You can feel with the shoulder blades how this may open. 
and then bring the fingertips together and sit up. Notice your spacing in your feet and knees. Good. And as I inhale and bring my belly up and my tush down, I'm going to raise one arm and my elbow is only going about eye level. I don't have to crank it back. It might not even go eye level for you. It might go just wherever you want it to go without too much ego and strength. Then let's do the other side. Inhale, the belly is up, shoulder blades come down. Oh, is this arm constricted or what? Good. See, I didn't do this at home. Ugh. That's plenty. I'm honoring myself by not making up some destination. I'm just observing while I do this. Strong bun and standing leg, belly up. Oh, and it's moving a hair differently than the first time. So it doesn't have to rush to judgment. Shake it out. All right, so we have the butt engagement and the arm engagement. I'm going to stand. Just going to practice one side. This side holds it with this hand gently. So this will be the one that's raising. And the opposite leg. So when I'm inhaling, I'm coming up, 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 up. This bun is very activated. I have my arm relaxed position. My shoulder is coming down. Good. And then exhale, bun, 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 bun. Stick it and rest. Avoid cinching here. The more this stays down, the more this side stays down. Good, 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 good. So this part is open. This is lifted. The inhale, the belly is up. The bun is engaged. Exhale, belly, 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 belly. The arm and the foot are moving in a concerted way. Good. All centering around this kind of stability without this excess. Ma, 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 ma. Good. If you're seated, the intention here is to avoid laying back. We're not trying to kick ourselves into the chair. We're just trying to do something evenly, slowly. You can call this Thai chair. Good. However, there's a lot of bun and breathing. So bun, 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 bun of the supporting leg. Shoulder blade down and back. Belly, 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 belly. Good. Keep that stability. Notice the difference from one side to the other. Allow yourself some rest in between because this may not be your usual work. And some of your body posturings may have been very well established. So even doing little bits of something can be very inspiring to let your body know to rest. So you can do that too, anytime. Good. So notice that might have been a little more fluid as we went through it gently. Now what if we alternated? So let's see what that's like, because we might have a little cypress parade for the 4th of July. So get your batons out, at least mentally, because you might, you know, twirl a little something and bring it back. Good. So let's try that a little bit. Just a little bit. Actually, that would be difficult alternating if you're using one support. So let's not make it too complicated. Let's just come up, engage, bun, twirl the baton, exhale, bring it down, and rest. So let's do five of these. Twirl the baton, bun engage, belly up, finish the exhale, finish landing, and bring the baton down. So they're coming up together. You're keeping the knee up, you're swirling the baton, you're lowering the knee, finish the swirl, bring it back. So there's a coordination and then a separation, stabilized by belly and butt. If you're seated, up, 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 twirl the baton, heart up and forward, smile, exhale, bring it back. Opposite side, notice I'm still stabilizing. Up, 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 down, 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 up. Gotta hold it. Da, 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 da. So I got a little confused there. Up, 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 up. 
exhale down, down, twirl, 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 finish and rest. So there's a lot of action here. Similarly, this side, outer arm, inner leg, up, up, up. Exhale, bringing it down, holding up here, and then finishing. It's like the after sparkle of some fireworks, you know, you get a little sprinkle at the end. Good. A couple more. How's that outside bun? Is it engaged? Yes. Avoid tipping here. Da, da, da. We're hitting the microphone. Good. And rest. Ah, time for a little water. Is it getting warm? All right. So we've had a little marching. We've had a little bun action. Now we're going to get a little more strength in it. In it meaning the pelvic area. So what I'd like you to think of is if you were a cartoon character and you were over accentuating running, but I'm not reaching forward, I'm just accentuating. See my elbows are sliding near my ribs, but my shoulders are pretty relaxed. So I'd like you to consider that each of these movements has either an inhale or an exhale. And then if we're standing, you might go a little wider with the feet. And have your elbows in, you might go, mm, mm. And so I'm almost riding through the space, inhaling, and exhaling. However, I'm drawing down through my feet and I'm activating my bun on each side. Bun, bun. Now, I can't tell you which one to activate more, but just try to activate them. So if you have one side said, oh, which one is working? You go to this side, which one is working? And you go, I don't know, or any of them working? I don't know. What do you think? Well. That's the explore. So sort of tighten it up, tighten it up, tighten it up with the breath. Breath, breath. Good. That's why it's Monday. Good. Mm, 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 mm. Two more. Finish and rest. Good. So we've got a little hip shaking mama and papa. Great. Come back to seated if you need it. Move around, have a sip. I know it's getting warm in here, it's not just me. So you can be getting warm too, and just be mindful of that. Take a little break for some water. Wonderful. Now there's other actions of the bum that are, let's say, a sweeping movement. There's the muscles here on the thighs that are opening and closing when we do this. And so I'd like you to think of, this is not a boom, boom, but a mmm, mmm. Bun, 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 tightening, bun, 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 releasing. This one's working because it keeps me upright. So I'm inhaling, opening, exhale, closing, and try that a few times. The slower you go, the more effective it might be. Coming over here, I'm standing up, I'll turn sideways or a slight diagonal. I'm open, good. I'm activating the standing leg strongly, I'm lifting, and then I'm inhaling, open, exhaling it back. I'm not dragging it on the floor yet, but whatever you might do to feel the referencing, but avoid friction. That's why this element is lifted so that I can just be hinging in the socket. But keep going. Or take a break. It's okay. Two more. And rest and shake it out. Mmm, what's next? How about the other side? or a break, whichever feels ready. 
and best for you. Stability, open, grounding. Good. Ah, so we're gonna draw, get that bun nicely engaged, and inhale, open, exhale, close. Beautiful. And just go at your own pace and comfort level. Notice if you're gripping with your toes, and if so, try your inner thigh. Activate the standing leg, inner thigh. Beautiful. Good, you're building wonderful strength here. Finish, one more breath. Good, come back, shake it out. And curtsy a little. Good. Have a seat if you need it. Uh, just regroup because sometimes a second set yields another level of capacity. So we're opening this way maybe. If you like seated, because we've done that before. I'm at a diagonal so this is hitting. So we're, see how when I turn my hips, I have more space to open. So we're up. But avoid tipping, standing. We may create a combo. We may go up, open, back, close. We may go out, hold, back, close. So see whatever feels right and fun. Strong standing bun. Relaxed shoulders, combo, and play with that a little to the other side. Similarly, if you're seated, it's not a sprint, it's slowly, mindfully, breathfully, completely. Good. Mm -hmm. Inhaling, exhaling belly up. Good. Aren't you feeling wonderful? Oh, good. One more. Mmm, 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 mmm. Shake it out. Ah! All right. So that's some strong work. There's some stretches that can come along with this too in the process. For example, you might think, oh, could I touch my toes? Well, you don't have to touch your toes. You can just think about touching your toes. And so I've lengthened my legs, but I still have a bend in my knees. So I'm just practicing having pressure through my heels and pushing back through my sit bone or my tailbone. Good. So if you were on a horse, you might be pushing through the stirrup, through your heel, or the back of your heel, and pushing through your tailbone, rocking. If you feel like standing, this will be a little different. I'd like you to squat a little bit and pump the knees just a hair. Good. Try to keep level feet. My feet are a little wider than usual. Good, go slowly. Three. Getting back to the seated part. Got here and here. Good, so I'm getting that sense of lengthening. And then when I exhale, I'm gonna draw the toes back, bring the belly up, and my heart is still higher than my head. No, my head is still higher than my heart. Yes, good. And then when I come up, my shoulder blades draw down actively. Here they're active also, and I'm keeping my head stable between my shoulders. Good. If you're standing, and we were curtsying, then I'd like you to have thigh support and have this flat back standing kind of pose, and then come up. So it's mm, on the inhale, belly to the spine, coming up, opening the knees on the exhale. So if you were at a swim meet and you were doing free
freestyle in one of these other forms, and they said, take your mark, you can see that you're ready to dive in. Similarly, where were we here? There was something going on here. So whatever you're doing here, bring the arms back. Oh yeah, the flat back and come forward. If that's safe, if it's safer to just have this here, by all means, success is individual and fleeting. So whatever we're thinking is success is really simple. You're breathing, you're moving, you're safe. And hopefully having fun. Good. Excellent. One more. Squatting and when you're standing a little, buns engaged, buns engaged, shoulders down, finish it and rest. Good. Now there's different ways to stretch these leg muscles. It's kind of hard when you're seated, but we'll try. If I extend one leg and keep this one straight in the stabilizer, I can do that flat back and draw my toes back, but I don't have to reach it. I have my hands on my other leg for support. Good. My shoulders are drawing down. Wonderful. If you're standing, you might consider using the back of the chair, and I'll just turn it sideways. Like you think of lifting, and then as you exhale, you're folding at the hips, and avoid pushing your tush back, and bringing your chest and neck area towards the chair back. Now we're doing one leg here, just, I mean two legs here, just to get familiar. Seated folks might be doing one leg at a time. That's okay. Good. Seated folks, switch legs. Go slowly. Use your breath, please. Standing folks, I'm going to ask you to consider crossing the legs and see what that's like standing up. Mm. Use your chair support. And when you come into this gentle flat back, you might get a little stretch on the inside of your thighs. Good. You don't have to go far. The head is above the heart. Think of the form and the belly engagement and the buns. That's what is the intention for stability. Good. Come on up. Seated folks, feel free to switch legs. Standing folks, you might even just be able to switch the feet. Stabilize first. Relax the shoulders. Belly up on the inhale. Exhale here. Inhale. Bring it up or whichever pattern seems safe for you. No crime if you reverse the breathing, because the point is you're also breathing. Good, one more. Excellent. And then undo and shake it out. The next stretch I would prefer that you be seated. And with as high of a support of your touch. The reason is because I would like to try to have you place this ankle on this knee without collapsing. Now, if that's not greatly achievable, we can just try to place the ankle on the shin and then use the hands to sit up and the elbows are down. That takes a lot of work. So maybe a pillow, just happen to have one under. A 
and possibly something like that. If you can achieve this, great. Another use for the pillow would be to just raise the rump. Don't slide off the chair. There's a lot of air in that one. All right, so my hips are even higher. And notice how readily that went on here. So this is a very important tool. Most chairs are too low, so consider that. So see how I can sit up and let this try to drop down. The further I can get my elbows back, and that's why I have a pant cup here, I can just gently cinch the cuff in my fingertips. See how that is. Good. Now I'm lifting my spine, I'm avoiding collapsing. So I'm up, and then the belly comes back. Oh, that belly. See how my knee comes up at an angle? It's not essential to be level, because I might tip over just to achieve that. What I'd like you to think about is the standing leg and relaxing your shoulder. And breathing. Good. You're doing wonderfully. Wonderful. And then let's slowly slide it down the leg. Shake it out. Ah, now what's the other side going to be like? Hmm, that's going to be unique for you as it is for me. Notice I'm leaning back, even with this extra pillow, because I could probably use a third pillow for this leg. This angle is really high. I had both hips replaced. Got lots of good stuff in my body. But I'm using my tailbone, my standing leg, leveling my sit bones, trying to relax and breathe. Now this stretches an area from the knee to the lower back, it's called your IT band. You can get very tight. Good, take another pair of breaths. Relax the shoulders, release, shake it out. Let's go for another round. See how readily this first leg comes up. Oh, my practically jumped up there. Almost. Good. Keep breathing. See if you can level your hips. Notice I shifted a little bit because I remembered that I have to put a little focus on that. Relax gripping with the toes. Shoulders can ease. Breathing. Good. Releasing slowly. Coming up with the other. Oh, I didn't go back as far. That's why I like more than one set of something. Whether it be a set of six breaths or however you measure what you might be practicing. Good. Notice how this side is. Now that's helping me. Hopefully it's helping you. And I'm just going for an encore here just to see what else is possible. Oh, that feels even a little more fluid in my pelvis. I can draw my sits bones down, lift my chest. My neck can soften. Good, keep breathing. All right, in this finale. Oh, that's a different person than five minutes ago. Or is it? It's still you. It's just that you can vary from day to day and hour to hour. So that's why we take this time to explore and focus and attend to yourself. So when we're all together, Breathe better and move better. Great. Let's release that. Ah. Time to finish up with a one minute meditation. Simple enough. What I'd like you to do is to consider the palms up 
Take the thumb towards the pinky. Mm. And just breathe. A couple or three breaths with that. And then shift the thumb towards the, in, the ring finger. And take a couple of breaths towards that. And then the thumb towards the middle finger. And then the thumb and the index finger. Good. And then let's just take all the fingertips together. Gently open on the inhale. Exhale on the close. And a bow of namaste, the acknowledgement that the light of me acknowledges the light of you. Appreciate your trust and time. And hope that this is part of your way to stay well and 